if you talk about uh, regional road safety, uh, it's, 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 it's evident that the problems are completely different than the problems in metropolitan areas. And we have to formulate different answers to that. It's not so easy to invest in roads if you have very low volumes. It's not so easy to invest in police enforcement if there are hardly any cars on the road out there. What are, what are the police doing there? So th that's the reason why I do believe that we have to look for opportunities of applying new technologies uh, in, in road safety. And I give you two examples. The first example is eCall. eCall is a system that the car uh, gives a signal the moment it's involved in the crash. Uh, for example, because the airbag is uh, blown up. Uh, this signal has to go to, uh, to a, a central office and uh, they respond to that. And it's a great value because it's uh, reducing notification time. And in this big state with a lot of empty roads, uh, this, this would be a real opportunity. Uh, the technology is there, so there's no need to develop new technology. And in the European Union, it was decided to introduce this in 2014 for new cars. So that's coming to the market, and it's a very forceful signal from a government of, uh, of, of having that because it's available, you can do it, and it will certainly save lives. Another uh, way of uh, using technology is so-called point-to-point uh, enforcement. Now uh, we have a system where you have a speed camera um, or you have a police officer having a, a laser gun, and that's a point measurement. And sometimes people uh, doesn't pay 100% attention, a little bit above the speed limit, and then they are uh, trapped. And if this point to point, for example, 10 kilometers in between, then you know I measured here, and over that stretch of road, uh, you have to drive slower than the mean value uh, for, that, for that road. And that's uh, very helpful indeed, and moreover, people think it is fair, more fair than a simple camera. They accept it far more better in my country, the Netherlands, than uh, the, the, the speed cameras of point uh, cameras. I was struck by the fact that in Mount Gambier, for example, you, you see, again, very wide roads, uh, very low volumes of traffic over there. So if you would like to speed, it's, it's no problem whatsoever. Um, and these local communities, uh, that's what I learned, and that's good. Uh, they are very much concerned about the problem of road safety and want to do something on, uh, on that. So I went to a meeting in uh, Mount Gambier, and a lot of people uh, showed up and expressed their interest uh, in this problem. So uh, it's, it's very close to these communities, and that's the reason why they can act as well uh, in order to uh, to reduce uh, the, the problem, um, and and it's even 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 somewhat easier to to use the public support and the public commitment of dealing with this problem than in a in a in a big, more anonymous environment like a big city. So I, I certainly believe that we uh, we can can do something in these in these little uh, little towns and villages.